Hi, I'm a film photographer, if you didn't notice. And today, I'm here to give you some tips to make your film photography suck less. Tip number one, what film stocks should you use and how should you shoot them? Well, there are many film stocks on the market and most of them are trash and should be avoided at all cost. If you want to have good results and likes on Instagram and Reddit, you should definitely stick to Portra 400 and Sinister 800T. You could also try shooting black and white, but to be honest, it's pretty boring and why would you do that if you have Portra? Also, you should definitely try to learn the Sunny 16 rule. That is when you overexpose all of your images by 16 stops. That way you get negatives that are so dense that you can look through them into the sun without your eyes getting hurt. Hence the name, Sunny 16. Tip number two. Subject is key. You should make sure to have a couple boobs or something in your shots to make them more interesting. Some people would suggest to have a good lightning setup, but to be honest, most of the best images on Reddit are of naked women and not of studio lights. Tip number three. Camera recommendations. Although all analog cameras are pretty much the same, you should definitely stick to the fan favorites like the Canon AE-1, Mamiya 7, Contax T2 or pretty much any Leica camera. Those cameras will increase your chance of getting a good image by up to 60% and that just by their name and the title. You can't afford those cameras? Well, too bad. Film photography is not a hobby for poor people and if enough people realize that then maybe someday I'll be able to get a Mamiya 7 in A7 plus condition straight from eBay Japan. Tip number 4. The film look. To get that vintage filmography look you could always try to get some expired film to shoot. To step things up a notch take your negatives and just put them on the ground and swish them around a little bit. The dust and scratches they will get by doing that will make for an even more nostalgic image. Like those old slides you found in your grandma's cabinet next to her Olympus Mio 2 that sparked your interest in this hobby. And tip number 5 is probably the most important tip I could give you. Your personal style. By that I mean you should definitely try to find a special outfit that accentuates your special hobby. You know what I mean? I would recommend Carhartt clothes but other expensive brands are also okay. You could also try to become a trendsetter. Start wearing Jinkos again or something like that. I don't care. Maybe get a dorky haircut, like me. You should try to do anything to look special, you know? Ah yes, and for your photographic style. I'm not really the right guy to give you tips on that, to be honest. I mostly shoot gas stations, you know? You should probably do this too, if you're like me. So I guess that's it for this video. Um, so let's go get some portra set your ISO to the lowest setting and start shooting. Ah yes, and uh, check out my Insta. And that's why I push all of my films at least three stops. It's just how I... Oh, look at this. Look at this beauty. I'm so glad I loaded some Sinistil 800 in this bad boy. You know, it's pretty funny actually because uh, Sinistil 800 is actually just re-spooled Kodak Vision 500T film. Just without a ramjet, you know. What? No, babe, we can't have sex now. I still have 10 images left, okay?